So welcome back guys. I have had a few requests in the last days um, asking me to eventually provide a video in English. So this is going to be my first try ever doing a knife review or at least a short presentation in English. So it might well be I'm going to be stumbling and uh, stuttering through the next minutes but hey I thought I'd give it a try. Um, what I would like to talk about, as you might see, is a real steel knife produced in China. And it's going to be about a fixed blade. The blade I'm talking about is the real steel cormorant. It comes in that beautiful little pancake kydex sheath with that additional safety feature this kind of arm with a button slides right through the opening in the handle and so the knife can't go anywhere until you release that button and then you're able to slide out the little neck knife. Um, the kydex is very well built and though there is no snapping there's no way this knife could ever slide out of the kydex unintentionally. Very well built. I guess the holes are made to be carried on a tech lock, I guess. I think they're just right. It might be these two for a small tech lock or even those for a big. I don't know, haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure there's some sense behind it. Um, for the first few days uh, I carried around my neck, put a lanyard through these holes and uh, was quite comfortable. <clears throat> so here it is. Beautiful little neck knife. Please excuse my camera light. Might be able to, yeah. That's beautiful. The knife is made out of CPM 154 steel. As far as I can tell, um, it's been very properly heat treated. It holds an edge very, very well. It has a beautiful two-tone finish. There's a stonewash finish on the flat ground. And the rest is a satin finish. On the blade itself it says real steel and CPM 154. The cutting edge is very nice and even and the knife comes very sharp. I hate to, I hate to use the term razor sharp but in fact it almost is. So there's this fancy little thing at the back of the handle. It even has some kind of frame lock itself. It is made out of titanium and it's the so-called handle extender. You can bring it out to a point like that from where it gives you very very secure grip either in the hammer grip position and even better, as you might see now, with your thumb to rest on in the reverse grip. Very, very useful. And even in the closed position, it widens the handle quite a bit. So it actually improves on the grip very, very much very well thought out and um, with a price around um, 20 bucks not too expensive due to the fact that it's made out of titanium solid titanium um, comes with all screws um, some little bronze washers um, you might be able to see here come a little bit closer wait a second yeah i guess you get what i'm talking about um, 
Very cool idea by Real Steel. Um, Real Steel are constantly improving on their products, um, bringing out new models almost every two weeks. And um, yeah, quite stunning company. I'm a really big fan, real big fan of theirs, and uh, I'm really looking forward to what's next. Um, I might be doing a short review, short presentation of the latest H6 Blue Sheep model, the Carmo version, one of the best budget folders on the market, I guess. It's around uh, 40 euros. Don't know if there's any shops in the UK or in the United States who sell these, but uh, if you could ever get your hands on one of these. It's the steel is a Swedish Sandvik 14C28N. Awesome, awesome build quality. Great ergonomics. Just a fantastic folding knife. And uh, such is that fantastic, really, really fantastic neck knife. I love the drop point design. I love the ergonomics. I love the small weight. I love the handle extension. It's just amazing. Really, really love it. This one goes around 70 euros at the moment. Um, I don't know the price on the Real Steel homepage. Um, might be around 79. Uh, you just go and check it out. Um, I think they deliver worldwide. So wherever you are and you're interested in this little knife, uh, just go for it. Um, I will put the link in, this, uh, in the description box um, to Real Steel itself, to a beautiful video from Stefan123321 uh, and also to the German distributor uh, Dirk Wanger from Messer and Co. So already more than seven minutes. Um, I hope my English was not too annoying for you. Uh, Hope you get the point of what I wanted to tell you. Well, it's easy. <laughs> Love this little knife. Uh, so thank you very much. Um, let me know what you think of it. Uh, would you like to do me more English videos in the future? Um, I'll try my best and uh, shoot one out every now and then. Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye.